my name is Laser Joe. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Train Simulator Classic. And today we are back on my custom route, the brand new racetrack that I'm still currently in the middle of building. In fact, it's been three weeks since I started building this route non-stop and it still isn't finished yet. But anyway, in today's race, I thought what we'll do is an LMS Express Train race. And the engines we are racing today is Duchess of Hamilton. Princess Elizabeth and Duchess of Sutherland. And in fact, these three engines have the exact same shaped buffers. Now, I'm pretty sure there is a reason why these locomotives have oval shaped buffers. I don't actually know what the reason is, but if you guys know, please let me know in the comment section down below. I mean, I would like to know myself why these engines have oval shaped buffers. What's, I mean, what's wrong with round buffers? But anyway, we are here on the main line, ready to do some programming to see which one of these three titans is the fastest. And also, these engines are pulling some coaches, so this isn't just a test of speed, but it's also a test of strength. So if you're new to the Lazy Jet YouTube channel, why not click that subscribe button, turn the bell notification as well so you stay notified of the channel, it's just a click of a button. So then, let's play some train sim! Hmm. <laughs> Right, so we go to the world editor, and as always, this is going to be extremely complicated, as it was last time, because the last time I did a race uh, on this route, um, it, it did go well, uh, but the programming is a lot more harder than it normally is now. So, uh, first things first, let's have a look on the mini-map. So, we've got engine, what's that, four, two, and five, I think. Um... We'll start with engine four, which is, I believe, Duchess of Hamilton, and I'm curious to see if we can actually get it further. So, if we program it to maybe go to platform 34, let's see if that will work. Platform 34, where is it? There it is. Will it work? No, it doesn't want to work because apparently we've got a, uh, an issue. Engines two and five are blocking it, so in that case... We need to uh, pull it to platform 30. Let's see if that will work. Uh, oh, no. Uh, it appears we do have another problem. So engine 1, which is... Oh, apparently that's me. Uh, am I programming engine 1? Let me just quickly see. Oh! Oh, wait. No, sorry. <laughs> I, just, I just programmed the entirely the wrong locomotive. Um, actually, what's platform... What, why is locomotive number one being programmed? Um, so let's move uh, Let's move this engine out of the way. Let's have it at the back and then put engine one there. Then let's try... All right, take two. Engine two on platform... What was it? Platform 30. Let's see if this will work. Try again. No, because apparently locom engine... Apparently engine one is blocking it. Why why is it doing that? Apparently the engine's gonna go backwards and then switch point. Why is it why is it wanna do that? I tell you, well let's move the engines uh, in a different location to see if this will work. Technical difficulties. Now this 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 is what I was worried about. Um, when adding switch points, um, it sometimes can corrupt the uh, the programming. That's why I don't really like making race tracks like this. Right. Um, I'm just gonna see if this is just just a tempor temporary experiment. So let's program it to go to platform 30. So engine was it was it engine two? No, three. No, it was two, wasn't it? Let's go back to where we are starting from which is uh, here so engine oh engine 4 okay let's try engine 4 on platform 30 let's see if that works aha there we go and then um, engine 2 on um, 
on uh where 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 was it going again? Let's have a look. On platform thirty one. Let's see if that works. Platform thirty one. Yes, that's worked. And engine three, which God knows where that is. I'm just trying to find it. Um Oh no, it's engine engine five, sorry. Engine five on I believe is on platform thirty two. Let's have a look. So many platforms. Let's have a look. Platform thirty two. Let's have a look at the programming. Dooby 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 doo. Uh yes, there it is. Platform thirty two. Excellent. Um I think I might have tried tried to program something differently, but um but never mind. Let's just move our engines back into the station. Move that there. Move that there. And move this one here. I had a bit of a programming glitch, but never mind. Uh, move my Superclass 47 here. And let's have a look at the programming again to see if anything's corrupted. No, everything looks fine. Um... Engine four, yep. No, everything everything looks fine. Okay, things are good. That I was a bit more concerned about this at first. I thought, oh no, something's obviously wrong. But no matter, no matter. We are ready for racing. So if we click play, are you sure we want to save this? Uh, do you know what? I'm not actually sure I want to save this. I I don't know anymore. But anyway, we are off. We are starting racing, my friends, and away they go. So Duchess of Hamilton, Princess Elizabeth, and Duchess of Sutherland. Which one? Is gonna win this. So, um, oh, Dutch of Sutherland is a little bit uh, glitchy. <laughs> Don't know why it's doing that. Let's get our Superclass 47 ready. Brakes off, lights on, um, horn check. Things are looking good. Okay, so our trade in forward. Uh, there goes uh, Sutherland and the others. Uh, let's have a look. There's Princess Elizabeth. Uh, at the moment, it is quite. Neck and neck between Duchess of Hamilton and Princess Elizabeth. But Duchess of Sutherland is off to a good start. Uh, looks very nice there, Sutherland. Oh, wait, no. We've got to start again. I've just remembered. I didn't program them properly. I may have set them to go into the uh, right destination, but I didn't program their power. Uh, we'll have you on 130% power. And engine five will have you at oh uh one hundred and thirty percent uh power, and engine uh, four I think at one hundred and thirty percent power as well. Okay, now that saved. Take two. See, I'm I'm still uh st got a lot of things to remember, and because I've rem I'm trying to remember so much things. Uh, I forgot to do the uh, power percentages. Per percentages. But never mind, we are underway. Take two. Uh, level crossing is down. Passengers. Well, not passengers, sorry. People. Pedestrians are actually witnessing the race to start. This is actually a really good finish line. So, Duchess of Sutherland is off to a good start, followed by the uh, Princess Elizabeth. And then on third place is Duchess of Hamilton. Superclass 47. Lights on. Uh, brakes off. Training forward and accelerate. Good. That's a bit better. We're starting to pick up a bit more speed now. This is more like it. So now the trains are programmed to do 130% power. They should go a bit more faster, I think. Although, I don't know what um, Duchess of Hamilton... Not Hamilton, Sutherland. I mean, can you guys see that? The cab is sort of... The whole locomotive is, go, is like glitching a bit. I mean, how are the other engines doing? Oh, and the sound's dead. Right, so there goes Sutherland. Bye-bye, uh, Sutherland. See, look look at Sutherland. It's like glitching all over the place. Don't know why it's doing that. Anyway, uh, doing a lovely 46.1 miles per hour. Dutch of Sutherland uh, has opened up a bit of a lead. Uh, it's still quite close between Hamilton and Elizabeth. Um, but I think, looking at the results, I think Elizabeth is going a little bit more faster than Hamilton, and I think Ham Hamilton's sort of glitching a bit as well. I mean, I don't, I don't know if the, if, the uh, if my game recorder is actually picking this up, but you can actually see Hamilton glitching a little bit. I don't know why. Right, going under the first bridge, uh, Duchess of Sutherland, uh, again, still got a good lead, uh, but the sound effects from the, uh, from the princess 
uh, Elizabeth is amazing. Uh, Duchess of Hamilton uh, doesn't sound that amazing, unfortunately. And um, it's I think it's falling behind ever so slightly. And by the looks of things, Sutherland is picking up a bit of speed. Uh, I mean, I'm doing 53.8 miles per hour. I want to see how the um, how Elizabeth is doing. Elizabeth is looking fine. Obviously, it's not as fast as uh, Sutherland, but still looking good there, Elizabeth. I mean, I can't see Hamilton. Oh, no, there's Hamilton just behind the uh, the tender of Princess Elizabeth. And uh, looking in the distance, I think uh, Sutherland is actually uh, picking up a bit more speed. So I think we might have to accelerate a bit more, doing a 71.6 miles per hour. Let's speed up to about 80 miles per hour. So uh, goodbye, Elizabeth. We'll see you in a bit. Uh, I'll see you soon, Elizabeth. Uh, let's see if we can try and catch up to Sutherland. So, uh, oh, passing the uh, the next station. Oh, a little bit of lag, but I guess the uh, the scenery is still uh, loading in. Uh, Sutherland's doing quite well. Uh, oh, there's my Superclass 47. Uh, oh, stop, 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 stop. So we'll try and link our speeds. So we're doing 86, 87, 88. Uh, I'm doing 89. Can I get to 90? Oh, a little bit more lag. There you go. I'm doing 90 miles per hour, but Dutch of Sutherland is still picking up a bit of speed. Almost doing 100 there because I'm doing about 93.3, uh, and I think it's still accelerating. Yes, it is. 94, 95, 96. Oh, come on. 97. Is Sutherland going to get to 100? Quite possibly, but how are the others doing? Let's go back to have a look. Uh, it's still quite close between uh, Princess Elizabeth and Duchess of Hamilton, although Elizabeth has got a little bit of a, of a lead compared to Hamilton. But Hamilton's not giving up that easily just yet, because you have to remember, it's the first train to stop. That is, th Those are the rules. It's the first train to stop. Those are the rules. I mean, look, I'm doing about 111 miles per hour, so the fact that Sutherland is, doing that, is, is, is going that fast... Is actually incredible. Oh, again, a little bit of a uh, little bit of uh, FPS dropping, but that's okay. Just the scenery is still loading in, looking very nice. <laughs> it's so cool to actually be on the main line. I'll tell you what, again, um, this is a really good racetrack. I mean, yes, it's a little bit complicated to do some programming, but hey, once I get past like you know the technical issues when I'm you know programming these trains to do racing, it's actually quite a good racetrack. But again, it is a bit of a shame that there's only a four-track main line. And not 12. I'll tell you what, Sutherland is absolutely flying right now. Uh, where are the others? Um, oh, um, Princess Elizabeth has accelerated quite a bit. Uh, Dutch of Hamilton has fallen behind quite massively. So if I apply my brakes just a little bit. Let's have a look and see uh, where the princess is. I mean, I can't actually see the princess in the distance. I might have to switch my camera. Oh, no, there it is. I see Princess Elizabeth, and she's coming, and she's coming up really fast. But the question is, has she got enough to beat Sutherland? We have no idea, because you just see Dustin Hamilton behind the trees in the background. Far, far behind, but here comes Princess Elizabeth. How fast is she going? So let's try and link our speed. Uh, she's doing, oh, she's doing 120, 121, 122, 123. She's doing 123 miles per hour. Ooh. So I think this is where we'll split ways, uh, Princess Elizabeth. So they, there we go. The track is now starting to separate. Uh, into the tunnel we go. I'll see you in a second, Princess Elizabeth. Do a little toot. And in the tunnel we go. Ooh. So spooky. And I can just see the uh, consist of Dutch of Sutherland. This is now going to turn... This is turning into a great race. So looking in the distance, Dutch of Sutherland has just... Uh, exit the other end of the tunnel and there uh, is Princess Elizabeth looking amazing oh, 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 oh yes she is definitely catching up my friends because I'm doing about 125 miles per hour so we're trying to slow down just a little bit but not too much I'm doing about do about 120 um oh, oh, oh wow this is amazing she's actually catching up to Sutherland excuse me Sutherland Sutherland we're about to pass you Oh, and here we come. The Duchess of Sutherland is at a maximum speed of about 111-ish miles per hour. But she's been overtaken by Princess Elizabeth doing 122 miles per hour. <laughs> I mean, I want to get a cracker. Look at this. <laughs> He's got Sutherland in the lead. Princess Elizabeth not far behind at all. But where is Hamilton? Hamilton is all the way in the distance. I guess streamlining isn't everything. But about to pass Sutherland, and here we go. And I believe 
Princess Elizabeth has just overtaken a Dutch of Sutherland. Princess Elizabeth is in the lead and she's winning. Bye bye Sutherland. And now uh, Princess Elizabeth is now in the lead. But again, she may have the lead at the moment. Will she be able to keep her lead until we stop at the end of the line? That is the big question. Is, is, is she going to stop first? Because even though we're in the lead at the moment with Princess Elizabeth, can she still keep her lead until the very end? We don't know. Oh, and we've uh, definitely split off uh, for a second here. I mean, you can see uh, Dutchess of Sutherland in the, in, the, in, the, in the distance. I cannot see Dutchess of Hamilton everywhere. Hamilton is just... Is history. So what we'll do now is we'll leave Princess Elizabeth uh, to herself. She can enjoy first place. Uh, I'm going to put my train in reverse and have a look at uh, Duchess of Sutherland. See how she's doing. I'm trying to link her speed because Princess Elizabeth is now doing about 123, four-ish miles per hour. But how fast is Sutherland uh, doing? So if I try and link our speed, so go about 121 miles per hour. Then slow it down. Ooh, not too much. Trying to get to her. I think she's doing about 112 miles per hour. That's not bad for a steam engine, but obviously not as fast as um, Princess Elizabeth. And, and look at look at Sutherland. It's just it's just glitching all over the place. It's like it's like doing that all the time. I don't, I don't know what it's doing. Sutherland's just got a mind of her own. I don't know what she's doing, but she's been doing a lot a lot of it. And I've got to be honest, I am concerned about something because in the future, when I start uh, uh, racing um, European and American uh, trains, I'm not sure they will fit on this um, on this uh, on this set of track because, stupidly, uh, I've actually built this racetrack for UK locos, so I have no idea what it's going to be like. If I race like Big Boy or a Challenger or, or anything American, because they are really wide locos, so I haven't, I haven't really taken that into consideration, have I? So I think what we'll do is we'll say goodbye to Sutherland, bye Sutherland, and we're gonna catch up to uh, Princess Elizabeth. So, uh, oh yeah, this is, I've, I forgot this is the section of of the route where I've had started add, adding signals. <laughs> See, look at all those workers there just on the side of the track. Um, so doing a lovely, uh, 226 miles per hour, good, can't see, um, Princess Elizabeth anywhere, um, they have to remember I'm in a, in a tunnel, so have I gone past it? Oh no, there she is! Oh, look at that, perfect, so I'll apply brakes just a little bit, try and link up to Princess Elizabeth, so, slow it down to about 137 miles per hour, I think that's a good speed. And then probably a little bit more braking. There you go, Princess Elizabeth. Looking amazing in BR Red. I do like the uh, the BR Red. You have, to, you have to admit, a BR Red locomotive does look very smart, I like to think. Um, so try and play with my brakes a little bit. I'm, I'm trying, trying to link speed because she's doing about 123 miles per hour. Yeah, that sounds, sounds about right. Let's get like a... An epic shot. Oh yeah, there's see, see that that is a that, that is a lovely shot of these two see, like seeing these two locomotives side by side at this speed on a route like this. It's fantastic. And for some reason the princess class's sound effects are, are a little bit broken because we're going I think we're going a bit too far. Oh, the super class forty seven sounds now broken. Oh no, it's, it's it works on the outside, but when you're in the inside it, it's broken. Can I do the two of the horn? Oh no, the horn still works. But anyway, we're approaching the uh, finish line for now. This isn't the uh, official finish line yet because, again, I've been working so hard to get in this route, like, finished. But it's still, like, missing a lot of uh, scenery stuff. So uh, once I get the, uh, the actual finish line finished, it will look amazing. Right, so I think uh, I'm going to pop my, uh, or park, actually, is a better word, my Superclass 47 here. <laughs> just, just looking at the princess class. Just passing me. It feels like I'm doing some tr like real life train spotting, doesn't it? So there you go, Princess Elizabeth. Park it about. I'd say, I'd say about there. Yeah, it sounds about right. Park it about there. Yeah, lovely. Oh, she did amazing. Well done, Princess Elizabeth, in first place. Oh, and there is Duchess of Sutherland in second place. But big question is. Where is Hamilton? Let's have a look on the map. So we are here. There's Sutherland about to pull in. 
Hamilton, uh, uh, oh dear, Hamilton is, is far, far behind. And here comes Sutherland, who you have to admit, she did do very well at the start, but she couldn't keep her lead, unfortunately. But there you go, Sutherland, just park it in front of your, uh, in front of uh, the Princess Elizabeth. There you go, lovely. Fantastic. Now, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the Superclass 47 and go backwards and see how I'm trying to hunt down Duchess of Hamilton. And it's actually quite weird, because when I go inside, there's, like, no sound effects. But when I go outside... There is like sound effects, but it, like you know, in the inside there isn't. It's, it's, it must be it must be broken. I I I, I don't know how to fix sound effects. It's it, it's all broken. Everything is broken. Oh, and there is Duchess of Hamilton. Apply my brakes. The brakes on a Superclass Forty Seven are so good. How fast is Hamilton going? Let's let's see if we try and link her speed. Oh dear, she's only doing ninety five miles per hour. That is. Definitely not good. That is that that had, that had no chance against the the others, which which is a bit of a shame. Let's uh, catch up and try and link our speed. There we go. Hello, Hamilton. I guess streamlining isn't everything, but you cannot deny it. Duchess of Hamilton is actually is actually one of the prettiest uh, steam engines I've ever seen. I mean, people can agree or disagree that Duchess of Hamilton is ugly, it's hideous. Actually, I quite like the way it looks. I mean. It's not my most favourite design, but it is, a, it is a very pretty looking steam engine. So if I park the Superclass 47 just there, and it just stops so suddenly, it's it's such a funny thing. And Sutherland, not Sutherland, uh, Hamilton, sorry, Hamilton uh, is in last place, but, you know, it still did well. It didn't, um, didn't fall behind that much, but, like, obviously it wasn't enough to... Uh, keep up with the uh, Princess Elizabeth or Duchess of Sutherland, which is, you know, it's a bit sad. There you go, Hamilton. Just park it right here next to the princess. Lovely. Just right, I think right there will do just nicely. Yeah. Right about there. Oh, that is perfect. Look at that. Perfect parking. Lovely. You'll open all the doors. Yes. Marvellous. That is, that is beautiful. Such a wonderful thing. But the big question is, which train do you think is the best? Duchess of Sutherland, Princess Elizabeth, or Duchess of Hamilton? Please leave your answers in the comment section down below. Which one do you think is the best? Sutherland, Hamilton, or Elizabeth? But that concludes this video for today, my friends. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Make sure you click that subscribe button. Turn the bell notification as well so you stay notified to the channel. You know, just click subscribe. It's just a click of a button. And thank you again so much for watching. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now. expert at this stuff um oh oh there we go <laughs> maybe <laughs>